Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing the reaction with my webcam because I'm having fucking problems. It is like the whole, my, using my MacBook is starting to not work for these reaction videos. So I am, by the end of this week, I should have a PC and the quality will be better. I promise. Also, I did get my hair done, but that's why it looks a little different. Oh, got it done for my birthday last week. Yeah. Um, and I'm not wearing makeup because I am filming this pretty fucking late. I'm filming this like... A week after I normally would film it because I didn't have time to film it last week because my birthday so oops sorry you're probably getting two gossip girl videos this week possibly let's just get into it let's just do it let's watch episode four fire walks of Z my computer wants to just disintegrate oh wow that's kind of fun <laughs> this is a birthday episode and uh last week when this aired was my birthday so yay also I found out that they come out at 3 a.m every morning every thursday so good morning followers gossip girl here yes give us more like aerial like beautiful views of the city because i love it ah 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 i want to get a manhattan apartment so bad. 15 today. Z. honestly i forget that they're like 14 15 16 like they're like real young and sometimes that's why things in some of these episodes really bother me but anyway let's look at uh, oh my god he's so beautiful he is so so beautiful oh my god i hope that the flow of this episode is a little bit better just because last week's episode oh my god i mean this last week's episode but like the week before that the last episode episode three flow was weird flow was weird is everything ready for today I am scared of what they're gonna do, but I'm actually really excited because it's gonna mean that the episode's not gonna be dull, so. I say this every single episode, but goddamn, that house is beautiful. That condo, whatever it is. I saw your story. Something that bothers me on, like, anything like this is be like, I saw your story. It was alive. Bitch, it was alive. It was definitely alive. Maybe I'm going crazy, but that looked like a lot. I do the same thing with my music and... I feel like whenever you have any kind of internet, like, following people will be like, how did you do it? How did you get there? How? Like, I want, I have questions. I don't think I could ever ask anyone that. Because it just feels so awkward to me, but I don't know. Seasonally appropriate. I always feel like it's weird how, like, seasons work in new TV shows because, yeah. Because they just don't work the same as they used to. And so, like, it'll be like, it's fall. And they have to tell us it's fall instead of us know it's fall. You know what I mean? Like, sh I'd rather they show not tell. It's her day. Yet again, be the girl whose immunocompromised mom died having her. Oh, okay. Because I always wanted to, like... I always... F I, I didn't think that that's how she would die. Especially because they're rich. Anyway, interesting. Oh, no. Not the hat. Do you see... She hates her birthday. I, my, whole, my question, too, is... How does he not know that she hates her birthday? Like, some people... Like me, I love my birthday. I'm someone who will tell you it was my birthday. I'll constantly tell you... I'm still putting up birthday posts, and it's a week later, so, mm. um, two days. I'm filming someone's third, my birthday's the first. You know? Like, how do you not know if someone doesn't like birthdays? Of the opposite sex, which is unacceptable, but not abnormal. Aki kissed a member of the same sex. Not normal at all. That sounds homophobic. That don't sound good. I thought this was supposed to be- I thought that this was supposed to be woke gossip girl. Bye? Does it matter? Maybe that maybe I it bothers me because I am bi, but like does it matter at the end of the day? Doesn't matter. You love who you love. Hiding inside me. Inside me. Just ask. I mean, he rich boy tried, but he tried. I'm gonna tell Gossip Girl. And that like waffle, that Belgian waffle company is so good. Um, definitely recommend it. Ten out of ten if you want to try it. So good. I I know there's. I think there's one in Tokyo too. So. It's international. Definitely will try it. You should try it. I've had it in a while. It's really I just feel like there's no set in stone way of how they feel for each other. And it's so taxing and annoying. She really did try to be here. Julian really was trying to be her friend on her birthday. It used to be, which means you gone. I, I don't know. At this point, I'm like, because they keep like dragging it on. Like, it's going to be evil. I'm like, it probably ain't going to be that. No, use. use what also i just realized we haven't seen maxwell episode and we're like 15 minutes the teacher like i said they might go oh, cool summer if you've seen the show you know if you've seen season you know what i'm gonna say if you know you know maybe i'll do a video on cool summer because we won't talk about that apartment without her present oh my god they about to lose their whole fucking house and that's hard in new york okay like shitty apartments are two thousand dollars a month okay like mm, mm, mm. i honestly 
thought it was gonna be worse honestly then like as fucked up as it is being homeless sucks you know i've been pushed out but worst case scenario i think it could backfire on the the two bullies like it could end up being like they're just gonna go to julian's house as a worst like best case scenario you know but like why is it the school's fucking business if someone's getting evicted i think that that's such a fucking personal thing like that's really fucking personal wait what the fuck why do i feel like the hot teacher and max hooked up just say i feel bad for julian because she's really just trying to like be cool you know like just be cool his birthday jc webster hall oh my god also, can you even run down Webster Hall? I'm pretty sure Webster Hall is closed, but yeah. A big one. Very, very, very manipulative. Obi's party or the girls' party? I feel like they're just trying to like amp up the drama of this episode, and I'm just like, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's because like I'm an adult with like adult problems, but sometimes like the problems in this gospel girl just is like, oh. Apparently, like there's a whole like I saw like a snippet of a TikTok talking about this kid's like. A big part of gonna be a big part of the story i know i'm not the censor the teacher shower ring but um he looks hot anyway moving on can't talk about it i, I could talk about it i just i don't think i can show it so look like shit. why do i feel like that's kind of weird to talk to your teacher while he's naked but you know, whatever whatever all this is because of what happened with your dad's what happened with my dad you need to lay off the drugs and deal with your- Yeah, that's true. I just- I don't see- Like, teenagers doing drugs is weird, dude. Also, because Max has become, like, slowly my favorite character, and, like, he just went from my favorite character to kind of disintegrating, which, I mean, understandable, but- Oh, that is, uh- That makes me feel uncomfortable. That feels like sexual harassment. Um, what do you do when a minor sexually harasses you? Like, I would- Ah, uh, rich kids. Rich kids. I fucking hate rich kids sometimes. Like, this is- This is why people say eat the rich. <laughs> but no, I like that I hate- Like, I want to hate some- Like, I want to hate some of the things the characters do. That's what makes shows interesting. So, I'm not being mad about- I actually like that I hate this scene. It's interesting. And they're all adults playing these. Like, thank you. Give me some drama. I'm back after 20 minute break because my computer cannot handle these type of videos. So, like I said- getting a new computer soon for this and it should be great soon i swear to god it's blurry but that looks look like gg to go to war is that gg with elon musk i love gg though gg gonna be his mom is that where we're gonna go is that what we're seeing oh okay. mm. god there's a blair i love Blair. you know you're rich when you have a japanese maid like not a spanish maid but japanese maid low-key true there's a difference between kind and cruel god damn it still really want to know why she got kicked out of buffalo i'm ready having to play a party she denounced like i feel like like i said i keep thinking they're gonna go all full house and be like you can stay with us <laughs> they're gonna merge party hog who's danny hog d collins Aki. yeah he's up i feel like yeah last name i feel like he's will be now um luna when the teachers get invited to the party it's lame for our dear destitute classmates honestly i mean I think because to them it doesn't really matter because they think, oh, rich, they're rich, you can get a new place. Like, it's only 3000 that's so cheap, which is crazy. Or you can just go to Brooklyn. I love, I love the music. I just can't react to it not much while it's going on. Honestly, like, if, I feel like the way that Audrey's acting, they should just break up. They should just break up because if it bothers her that much, not that he would cheat, but that he's gay then they shouldn't be together. If you can't love someone for who they are, just fucking break up. I feel like that kid that kid just feels like a main character. So is this kind of like, uh, I know they're gonna do a drug storyline, maybe a rehab storyline and like, but like, I don't know if anyone's that involved with their, like love their parents that much. Maybe I, I just don't have a good relationship with my parents enough to get into drugs or anything. The amount of drugs that that boy had, like it won't let me load it back, but the amount of drugs that that boy had in that like little elderly stand, Oh my god, that's thousands of dollars worth of drugs. It's crazy. It's a bad trip. Oh. I mean, you know what the crazy part is? They're rich enough that that, even though it's thousands of dollars worth of drugs, wouldn't even hurt him. Oh, look at that. More than your, your salary on the side. If there's ever anything I can do to help. I keep thinking they're going to do a whole full house moment. They're going to do it. Maybe not, but uh, it feels like it. I don't know where those writers are going with the story. It just feels like a zigzag. Like, it's like, oh, I thought you guys were good. Now you're not good. Are you bad? Are you good? Like just like make it a fuck like it's so fucking exhausting and like not in a good way it's a good thing. It's just a, a social experiment. i wish here's the thing i'm not gonna like all the music i can't like play these bits but why are they openly talking loudly about gossip girl at a party 
at a high school fucking party. Jeez, why do I feel like the guy that she brought is gay? And they're just like, it's just going to be an odd thing. Like, he has a crush on hockey. Uh, that would be more funny. That would be interesting. It's not gay. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. One of us. You can tell me. I feel like that's the worst way to ask someone if they're gay. Like, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't know. This definitely is a story written by millennials. And uh, even though I am a cusper, like millennial Gen Z cusper, there are times where millennials just don't know how to write stories about certain things without making it bad. Like, it just, it's just, ah, like, ugh. And I guess maybe I'm on TikTok too much. I'm slowly becoming more Gen Z. <laughs> I'm joking. But there's just things where I'm like, oh, this doesn't work. My question is, though, right? Like, I think this would be cool in a few years where we're like, oh, yeah, that's Princess Nokia. Because I love watching, like, 90s shows where, like, we see, like, a guest star, you know? So I, I feel like... Let her win. Like, I want to know how bad this is. Because they've been stretching this out the whole season with just, like, four episodes in. They're like, oh, my God, like, this secret that Julia has, why Buffalo? If this secret is lackluster, I'm going to be so disappointed. Oh, I'm... I... Uh, she's crying. I feel... Maybe she didn't have friends. Maybe she was bullied. I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't know. Something, something's they're not tea. Okay? Like, I think people forget that. Oh my god, she was bullied. Like, and I think also with kids who are growing up with drama channels and, and, I, and, I, and I love a good commentary channel. I think that commentary channels are, do help, like, in some ways because there are a lot of people doing a lot of fucked up things. But not everything has to be tea. Like, God, um, I just, ah, I just, I'm feeling things. I'm like a little, I'm upset. Which, I mean, being upset means it's good media, but I'm just. Mm. Oh, that video was traumatic. And I understand this is the woke reasoning, right? Like, I think Julian is a good person. I don't think he's a bad person at all. Um, I know we only have, I think, like a week or two left of episodes until fall. I don't know if that means we're taking, we're getting a break. I, I'm really not sure because it's at fall, so I'm assuming we're getting a break in between. But yeah, I don't think that she's a, a bad person. I think that's what makes it worse. Like I think that if Julian was a bad person, that some of these things would make more sense. But she's not. She's just easily manipulated. I'm a bully. I'm smashing. My, I think it's because like Instagram and TikTok are like competitors right that they'll never use the word tiktok but they'll be like instagram so I don't, like dub smash like who's on dub smash if you're on dub smash don't get offended aki i like that aki and um audrey fix things but i feel like a lot of the episodes we do get like kind of more of a fix it's a lot more of an open shut thing and because of that i feel like the episodes don't flow because the season should have more of like a bigger flowing topic I don't know if that makes sense. There's like, if you keep the anticipation for a little bit longer, it would be a little bit better. Again, I might rewatch the season, especially because I'm doing this watching, like recording this. It might not, I might not be in the same mindset I would be if I was just watching it in bed. I really like the scenes with them two together. Like legitimately, I think they have really great chemistry and we don't know where it's going to go, but honestly, I really do enjoy it. Best friend started hanging out with some other kids. Okay, so they're going to explain what happened. Finally, some explanation. That's why it feels like a mid-season finale because I feel like so many things are wrapping up. But then again, the way that they've been wrapping things up in general for every episode does feel like a dead stop anyway. So I'm like, I don't know. Guess I was no longer cool about if I got out of their life or not. I killed her mom. Oh, like if especially if you're gonna bully kids, like bully them about something. Like I don't know, you shouldn't bully in general. But that's really fucked up to like, ugh. It's really fucked up to, like, bully someone about something they can't change. And also something like childbirth. Like, I, like, I I just want them to be friends. Like, the whole series so far, I just wanted them to be friends. Like, can we just let it be? Like, please let it be. Why do I feel like those two teachers are going to start dating? Like, the little blonde one and the, the man. <laughs> How rich are they that they planned a whole fucking birthday party and, like, executed everything in, like less than a day less than 12 hours with school still in it like that's that's crazy oh uh, to be rich oh to be rich i mean this is the only storyline where i feel like we're still going on with it the max storyline which i really like I really honestly though that's that's the complicated part so they said this early enough so i didn't really talk on it that his biological dad is the one that cheated and so because of that like 
the way that it works like you can't it sucks like being a gay couple and then if you get divorced if anything happens you don't really have rights to the child only one parent has rights to the child and I think that that's so fucked and it sucks and I hope that that law changes because it sucks are they gonna kiss oh my god no kissies uh, he's a teacher we have to like stop normalizing like things like this which is like oh like i want to be like oh but it's also like eh, and i'm like uh also we just don't get as much like it, we don't get that many like gay like hot sexy gay makeout scenes so uh thank you gossip girl the reboot but uh yeah still still problematic still problematic but because we know that these are two adults that are doing this for a paycheck hot it's really setting up as if it's the end of the season but it doesn't feel like the end of the season it's just because we know that there's way more episodes ordered so it feels weird so i hope you guys enjoyed this video honestly like i said i don't know what they're gonna do with the rest of the episodes it feels kind of odd but so far i i did actually by the end i didn't enjoy the episode i didn't know where this was gonna go but i did enjoy it well how is there this is it's literally like currently 5 a.m in the morning and that i'm filming this and i don't know why people are still zooming why stop slow down your cards anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one even though the quality of this one's significantly lower but still want to do it for the memes you know so anyway 